What's up everybody? Welcome back to the farmhouse. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this board into these floating shells. Okay, the first step in this process is getting each one of these cut down to length. For me, each of my shelves is going to be 17 and 3 quarters. That could be different for you. So I'm going to get these marked and get them cut out and we'll move inside. four pieces cut and now we're just going to do a little bit of rough sanding to clean up where the cuts were and that's about all I'm going to sand because I want these to be as natural as possible. So. <laughs> mishap with some pretty bad tear out. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if my saw blade's bent or what. Something's going on. I'm going to have to check it out, but I don't have time to check it out right now. So we're on to the next tool. I just kind of made my way through it. But that's why I'm gluing up. You shouldn't have to do that. Next step is laying out where your rods are going to This is actually what's going to bear the weight of your shelf. So these are 3 8 by 8 inch rods. Um, I'm going to lay them out on the board. Your size could be different depending on your shelf. Mine is a 2 by 12 shelf that we're doing. Uh, so if your shelf's not that deep, you don't need 8 inch rods. I'm just trying to get as much support throughout the entire shelf as I possibly can. So I'm going to lay that out and then we'll go to the next step. <laughs> Okay, I have laid out all the holes and now I'm going to go ahead and drill starting with a pilot bit. I, want, I also center punch these and want to make sure that my drill goes as straight as possible because we're drilling a long way down into this wood. So we're going to drill and then we'll go to the next step. dark sorry for the lighting this is all I got out here next step is to cut the back portion off of the shelf this is how we're going to anchor it to the wall which is also why we drilled those other holes it'll all come together here in a second when you see it so I'm going to run these through the table saw I'm taking three inches off again I've got a 12 inch deep shelf you may not have to take that much you can just adjust it for whatever you feel comfortable with so here we go <laughs> cut and all my holes drilled now we need to epoxy the bolts or in this case they're just going to be like a rod that goes through the shelf to hold it in place we're going to do that now
got all your rods epoxied in there. Uh, I've had to mark because the way the studs worked out on my wall, there's not any good mounting locations, but I've got one lag bolt going all the way into the studs, and then I've got one that is a, uh, I'm going to use like a toggle anchor. These aren't going to hold a whole lot of weight, so they don't have to be big enough to stand on. So uh, that's it, and then you mount them up, so that's what we're doing now. All right, so once you get the base mounted to the wall, you just match up the piece that you had with the mark. This might be one that I get some epoxy on, but once it's up there, unless you're standing right there looking for the line, you really can't see it. So, voila, floating shelf. Now you just rinse and repeat and do all the other shelves that you have. And uh, I wouldn't recommend putting 500 pounds on there, but for a decorative kind of display type of shelf, which is what this is, it's going to hold maybe 10 pounds, which is well within what this thing's capable of holding. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to get the other ones. hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions put them down in the comments below I'll be sure to check and I'll respond to every single one of them these are pretty simple shelves to do they did take a little bit of time because I kind of have a tendency to design and build as I go and I didn't really think through it all the way there's a couple of things that uh, I had to change on the fly so but if you have any questions like I said put them down below like comment subscribe all that good stuff it helps the videos and the channels Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next yeah, one. Yeah, all that good stuff. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time.